Hey guys, welcome back to us always. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe down below to any post notifications that we know every time we post a new video. Did you notice I hit that? <laughs> we actually just got here to the airport and we just ordered some food because it is already about to be like 10 30 ish, almost 11. Our flight does leave at 12, like 11.59, so basically 12, and obviously they start boarding like 45 minutes or 30 minutes before, so we're going to get our little grub on, but we are doing this trip, it is like a last, well it's not super last minute, but it was kind of last, last minute, because depending. we had to wait for JJ's team to see if they were going to win or lose, because if they won, they would have advanced to this weekend we and all that. Today. Wait, yeah. what's today? Today's it would have been today. Yeah, today. Yeah. We are heading to Arizona, guys. We are going to be there for four nights. We're gonna get a lot of work done. Um, we're gonna make this trip very productive. We're gonna take you guys along the entire trip. But we are really excited. Should we tell them already? Nah, we should wait, huh? I think we're gonna, we're gonna wait, but you guys can comment down below what you guys think we are going to be doing out there in Arizona. Let us know. Our flight does leave here in a little bit. We are waiting for our paninis to get done. I haven't drank coffee guys, we've been literally like so strong with the gym, going like at least four times a week, sometimes five times a week, and we're just so bummed out that we're going to be taking like a five day break. I thought we were going to hit the gym over there. Yeah, but I just feel like gym is for like home, you know, and then like out there I want to just knock out work, 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 because we're not in AZ all the time. So I don't want to waste like two hours like at the gym while I could be getting ready, get ready to like, you know, work. So. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Yeah, we'll figure it out. So Bo got a Philly cheesesteak panini, and then I got me the Ultimate Club, which comes with ham, turkey, bacon, tomato and cheese and then it also has like the sauce that comes in it i'm excited to eat you know the drama is never ending don't let it get the best of you and all the fake friends just keep pretending that's how the little things get huge Fire out in every pore oh you feel it taking over you So we are actually going to be picking up a rental. We weren't going to get a rental car, but so we just rented like a little compact car to get around. That way we don't have to be like yeah, waiting for Ubers. The, the, the airport Ubers like automatically like 60 bucks. Yeah, so we have some time to actually pick a car up since our check-in is until four anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up our car and then we'll meet y'all when we get it. All right guys, so we ended up booking like a compact car and we came to the front desk. She's such a good little cell Sel lady Sel because person. we ended up upsizing. Got a little Mustang. <laughs> yeah, we got a little Mustang. She said that that one's good because it's like brand new. It's like literally a 2023. And she said it's a six cylinder. So like the AC is more powerful. So in this heat, she said, we'll need something more powerful. So we're like, all right, sold. <laughs> so we're excited. Um, I've never really rode in a Mustang. I'm not really like a muscle car girl, but here in AC, we'll go ahead and let it pass. I think the only Mustang I like are like the very old school ones. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Mustangs, but it's all right. All right, as Adrian would say, all right. This is our Mustang, guys. A little silver moment. And it's not a two-seater, it's actually a four-seater, but this is like the downfall with Mustang, guys. You see the leg room? It's like, what leg room? I was trying to find the key. I'm dead. You hear the exhaust wave? <laughs> We are actually headed to a marisco spot. I'm hella excited to eat. We are starving. I did only eat like half of my panini earlier at the airport and then Bo wanted some Mexican food. So yeah, we're gonna go head there. I'll let you guys know the name. It is found on Yelp that is like almost a five star review. So we're gonna see if it's good, but I'll give you guys a name once we get there. All right, nice. So we came to this place right here. I don't know how to pronounce it, but Bahia de Guilla. Guanmas, mariscos y carnes. It has like almost a five star review, so check it out. Oh, so 
croissant and chips moment. How is it? Awesome, good. What do you always say though about a Mexican spot? Is the sauce is good. Majority of the food's good. If it tastes like shit, you don't eat it. Yummy! I got me a michelada de modelo. It's been a while, guys, that I drank. Even for 4th of July, I only had one drink, so it sucked. Like, my goal was to get buzzed that day, and I didn't even get buzzed. Everything happens. Everything happens for a reason, too, so it was probably for a good reason. If I was drunk, it probably would have ended a lot worse, too. <laughs> yeah, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and order some food. So, right now, when we order our food and get it, we'll show y'all what it looks like. One thing about Arizona, though, they, they do have some pretty bomb ass like mariscos and Mexican spots. Yeah. Love the food here. We got our first dish. This is the uh, camarones el valiente, and it looks fire, guys. It's like a spicy lemony sauce. You already tried the sauce. Is it good? It was. I couldn't get enough on this. Oh. Mm. All right, guys. The music is playing in the back. So I don't know how much we can record, but let me go ahead and suck some head real quick. I ate the whole scratch cut out. Guys, this is fire. We got the camarones out of the But it looks like. This one is spicy. This one's fire. Probably one of the best I've ever had. Mm -hmm. This one's fire. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one's fire. I'm about to dip my tortilla right now. That shit's bomb. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So now we got the chiles with shrimp and bacon. I'm scared. Hot. <sighs> I think we need a little cola. All the oils. Guys, the food is like hella good. Oh my God, I my tongue. What do you rate it? 10 out of 10. What do you rate it? 10 out of 10 too. I'll definitely come back. <laughs> and it's literally like a little hole in the wall, guys, like right next to the airport. So if you are landing in like Phoenix area, I highly recommend Hey guys, so we made it to our Airbnb and it's a cute little spot. Like I think it's actually really cute. So what drew us to this place was like the contemporary feel that it gives. Um, this house is going to be like a house where we're going to be creating content as well. So it's going to be dope guys. Lots of new content. So stay tuned. The bowl's already opening the doors and all that good stuff. So right here is the door. So right when you walk in guys, you get the whole little living room area. Arizona is hot. This little back design detail is actually really cute. Loving the little green accents. And then we have the kitchen here with like the brown, orangey, burnt orange looking chairs. The kitchen's actually really cute too, guys. And then over here is the nook area. I'm like really feeling this vibe though. And then we also get the backyard, which will go out there here in a little bit. There's a pool, a spa, a little pergola area, and then like a little um, golf area. And then there's cornhole. Are, cornhole, yeah. I think there's a room over here. So here's a laundry room, and then here's a bedroom. I believe this house has like three bedrooms, so we'll be utilizing it. And then the restroom, this is a cute little restroom, a little shower, cute. And then this is a little vanity area. Oh dang, the closet is hella spacious. Okay, let's walk. To this side so i guess there's one bedroom here on this side and we get also a refrigerator oh we get some waters already look they've got mustard ketchup <laughs> for hot dogs do they leave ice cream why not guys i feel like i need a nap i am so tired so here is another bedroom so this is a second bedroom this one has like the yellowy gold accents here see the restroom what's oh, a closet so now walking in this way. So this is a shower. And then the little vanity area. And then here's a third bedroom. Let's turn on the light. That's not the light. Yeah, there you go. It was on. <laughs> no, it wasn't. It was off. I promise you it was off. Dang, this room is dark. 
I'm over here complaining about Bakersfield heat, but Arizona AC, AC heat, is different. Different it's the next breed. level. It's cute though, huh? Let's go outside. All right, let's take y'all outside. Like instantly, it even smells like heat out here. That's it's how hot. hot it is. Oh, but you know why it smells like heat? Because it's fake grass, turf, it's artificial. That's what makes it smell? Yeah, it's like burnt plastic. You can smell it. It smells like burnt hairs. They have a pool right here, which I'm gonna have Bo like clean it. <laughs> they have courts though. That shit's rough on your feet. That's good. I'll just scrape my feet on there. It's hey. a nice pool though. Yeah, it's cute, huh? Yeah. Even the gate is actually really cute. Is it hot though? The water's so short, right? Yeah. You might have to take a little dip in the pool, huh? Yeah. Literally. Literally. pergola area here is it or maybe we can just sit in here huh at night sit here and drink our beer oh, i wouldn't i wouldn't oh it's hot i wouldn't have the, the heat on but i would have like is the, the heater on i would have the jets no it's because this absorbs the heat we have a little golf course right here i'm about to bow later on tonight i don't know if i'll be able to be out here during the daytime mm -hmm. it's so hot Let's see. <laughs> you did. I don't know if I can be out here. It is so hot. I'm going to go cool down. Like, it's been a long day, but it is so hot out here. I just want to relax in the AC. Let me see. Guys, I came with hella mosquito bites. I have mosquito bites on my ass, my legs my ankles fourth of july we got so freaking bit up no but we're gonna go ahead to the car real quick to go bring down our stuff i'm gonna go help bo because it's freaking hot but we'll pick you guys up here in a little bit all right guys so we got here to the airbnb and then we kind of like chilled out watched a little bit of tv don't be lying i knocked out no and then we took a nap i probably took like a 20 minute nap we took like an hour and a half nap i took a i was so tired babe but honestly we went to sleep hella late last night woke yeah. up early we did some content earlier today now we showered up we ordered some pizza this shit looks busting mm -hmm. we ordered from pizza on 40th look at so we got half pepperoni and mushroom mm -hmm. half pepperoni olive and jalapenos <laughs> but then we got some oh, yeah. well it's mm -hmm. still soft Mmm, aren't you shabby? Then we got some buffalo wings. Mm. Damn, that's heck of ranch. Mmm, and then we got some garlic bread too. What the? That's too much carbs for me. I'm good with just the pizza because that carbs is like, you know, it's enough. Busting, guys, so when you yeah, gonna try I'm this? Excited to eat. The Mexican food earlier was hella bomb. It was really good. It so, like hella put me out to like not be hungry for a while because we ate so heavy. So AZ, they coming through with the food. Yeah, I'm excited though to eat. And then we're going to just like kick back tonight. Enjoy like our food with no kids, you know, telling us what they want and what they need. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But we finally get to enjoy like our food tonight, which is me and Bo. We're going to pop a movie on tonight. We're going to just watch a movie, kick back, and relax. You know, picking back me, bull. <laughs> so we'll catch you guys after we eat. The next day. What's going on, guys? So Maria is actually at the house. She stayed back. She shooting some content with Alex. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to hit up some people. See who's down to kick it, get some grub, maybe some TikToks. Actually, on my way right now to meet up with um, Metro to go see what we can get into. We're gonna get some grub and uh, maybe film a couple TikToks, something. We'll see, but I thought I'd go ahead and pick up this, the vlog and bring you guys along just to see what's going on, see what we're gonna get into. But yeah, guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and drive for about 20 minutes. I'm, I'm gonna meet Petro down at um, downtown Phoenix. He was trying to go to Westgate. But Westgate is like 45 minutes from where we're actually at right now. He's like, nah, that's too far for you to drive there and then back. So, I don't know, I'm hella hungry. I haven't eaten today and it's already like literally gonna be four o'clock. I had like a bagel in the morning and that was it. So, I'll catch you guys right now when I meet up with Petro. All right guys, so I just got here. I guess we're gonna eat at some place called Chico Malo. Never heard of it, but 
I don't know, somewhere in the petrol, he says like two minutes away. Okay, got a lot of little places to eat here. It's a cool little spot. All right, guys, so we just got to, what is this place called? Chico? Chico Malo. Chico Malo. Oh, okay, so it's a little Mexican restaurant. It's a little bougie Mexican restaurant. <laughs> I got my boy right here. Say what up, what up? Welcome to the Mexican building. What's good, bro? Hey, we got Juju right here. <laughs> so we about to get some grub, chill out, vibe. He got a little drink to drink. What you drinking on? Uh, well, I'm drinking liquor, then I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> That's your guys. That's your pre-workout or what? Tequila. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So we got some queso fundido. Let's go. Hey, these are homemade tortillas, fool. Are they warm? They're hella hot. They're hella hot. Think of my game. All right, guys. So we got some birria, some tortillas. We got the smoked birria. This I got a whole ass pork leg and shit. Oh, we got the whole shit on it. Oh. And that shit looks fire, bro. That's fucking That shit looks fire, smack, bro. dog. All right, guys. So we just got done eating some uh, the, the chico chico malo. It was actually pretty good. I had some smoke, some smoked media and the queso fundido. It was actually really good. I'm not gonna lie. And it wasn't too bad. I'm actually headed back to the house because we forgot to do the thumbnail for the video that was supposed to be posted today. And we're trying to post it by 5:30, so we're running a little late. Maria's actually uh, having some lunch or uh, I, would, I would say dinner. She's already having dinner right now with Alex over at, I believe at Maple Maple and Ash. So I'm sure she's already filming that, but I'm actually headed back to the house so I could get this thumbnail taken care of. And then once all that is taken care of, we'll figure out what we're gonna get into tonight. Petra wants to meet up later tonight to film some TikToks and film some content. Which is cool because we're probably down to do some, some TikToks and everything. So, yeah, let me go ahead and head back to the pad, get everything situated, and then, like I said, we'll link up tonight with you guys to see what's gonna happen, see what we get into, see what TikToks and whatnot we're gonna film. All right, guys, so I got me my girl Alex. So, guys, we've been busy all day. We haven't picked you guys up like literally all day, but. We've been busy, we were filming and creating so much content, but it's time for us to have a little girls dinner night. Bo and Ash. Yeah, Bo actually took off with Petro, so I me and Alex are gonna have some good food because guys, we are running on a light breakfast. Yeah. Dude, literally. Would you have a bagel? A bagel and a half. I had avocado like, toast. Yeah, that's it. So it's super light. So yeah, we're gonna go eat, show you guys the food, and yeah, we'll take you guys inside. We're gonna be going to Maple and Ash. Mm -hmm. So it's like a steakhouse. So far, oh, I'm excited. All right, guys, so we just got sat down and we have a welcome drink, and it's a prickly pear. I just have the three salads here. It's pretty good, it's pretty prickly. <laughs> I have Alex right here. Cheers, Cheers bitch. guys. So, what is it like a dip? It's like a dip with uh, caviar, guys. There's caviar in there. I've never had caviar, I've had um. Like, what is it called? Snails? Like oh, yeah. actual real snails, like where you eat in a gado, but I've never had like fish eggs. The caviar is fish eggs? Yeah. You guys, I'm trying to have Maria eat. I'm scared. Yeah. It's all blurry. <laughs> okay, I'm scared. I'll just eat the dip. Mmm. Mmm. It's like ruffles. It's like butter. Mmm. That's pretty good. Oh, yum. Thanks, like. That's pretty good. All right, guys. So me and Alex are starting off with some oysters. Fire. You already know we had to get the Tabasco. All right, guys. So I got me a seafood tower that comes with scallops, oysters, clams, and pink crab. And I believe some prawns in there. It looks so good. Alex got um, corn with cream and then asparagus and her little baby steak. The steak is so cute. Like. <laughs> doing better this love i got for you too much i can't measure new cars new crib we look good together it's us always but i'm thinking us forever girl you got what i need racing for your love i'm going high speed i can put you on can play for my team once you get a taste you tell me don't